get off here. But the SIU building is still a little further ahead. That's okay. This thing will stick out if we bring it too close. Yeah, you're right. In that case, I'll lead you the rest of the way. Let's go. It's basically the nanomachine equivalent of a virus program. Except it causes brain damage. The infected will ultimately lose their memories. Or end up as husks of themselves. It's likely the cause of my memory loss. Let's head to the top of this overpass. We can get a good view of the SIU building from up there. Wanna go check it out? Yeah. Found at the nurses off the or the medical records of Shiv Yuki Takamiya. In order to protect Natsunomi Nami, she had no choice but to cooperate with the SIU. She says she knows who issues orders to the black suits. Apparently, it's Ida. Chihiro Morimura's objective, one with great implications, especially for those from another world, like me. If Operation Aegis succeeds, We'll never be able to leave this world. Iori Fuyusaka. Despite having lost my memories, she continues to help me with an open heart. I just... I'm not sure how to reciprocate. I gathered some information from Natsuno's unit, and I came across some interesting details. Apparently, I had accepted a particular job to assassinate Chihiro Morimura. Which one's the SIU building? See that over there? It's the building next to the police station. Which floor? Top. Got it. I'll take it from here. You're staying behind. Like hell I am. All you're gonna do is slow me down. Unless you want to take a straight bullet to the head. But I don't think you do. H hang on a second. Someone's sending out orders to me in the black suits. I'm not sure who, though. But the orders are coming from the SIU building. I thought you said it was Ida. He's... dead. I'm pretty sure Shinonome shot him. Uh, I suppose I'll find out when I get there. Come in. I know you're there. You've been using the drone to monitor us, haven't you? I'm nothing if not thorough. It might interest you to know that I have a guest with me. <sighs> Miss Iori Fuyusaka. Now then, why don't you come by so we can talk? And hurry, I'd like to give you a proper welcome. So you're Ida. 
That explains how you survived being shot. You were an android this whole time. That's not true. I did die. I simply copied my memories onto this android. Just in case something were to happen to me. You plan to perform another loop as an android? Don't be a fool. I've already saved my data to the evacuation area. So you're having the android do the dirty work? When it comes to making sure I end up in the next world, there's no one I trust to get the job done more than me. Release Fuyusaka. She has nothing to do with this. No. If anything, her existence poses a threat. And as it turns out, you have no intention of keeping our promise. You know I lost my memories. How do you expect me to keep a promise I don't remember? Perhaps this will ring a bell. So, how did it all go? Taking care of anyone standing in your way, I hope. Well, you can relax. Ryoko and I did what we needed on our end. We've already backed up your data. Next time, when the world resets, you'll still have your memories intact. There's only one thing left for you to do. Obey Tetsuya Ida's orders. Keep up the good work. <sighs> Sounds like a real moron. He clearly has no clue what's going on. I see I'm left with no other choice. I'd long anticipated your betrayal. Besides, it's already too late. No matter what you do, this is the end for you. Once we arrive in the next world, I promise to take very good care of you all. Now you can die in this world with nothing to fear. No! Out of my way! <laughs> Relax. You get to die first, Sekigahara. So you don't have to watch. Morimura. She abandoned the idea of starting over again. And she became obsessed with Operation Aegis. Don't you want to know why? Oh, I remember clearly. I received Miura back in Sector 3. You're the one who gave him to me. And I remember recording the footage you just played, too. I made sure to back up all my memories. Now I remember everything. Are you okay? No. This is bad. There's nowhere to run. The black suits are monitoring major streets. We're completely surrounded. You look like you're getting worse. Have you taken your pills? I'm all out. They weren't even helping anyway. There's nothing I can do. We can utilize Operation Aegis to protect this world. If we do, we'll be able to survive even if we fail. Though we won't have much of a world left. I don't have much time left. That's why I left myself a message. I'll be able to check it using the message service. After I lose my memories, I imagine I'll come to you for help. When that time comes, give this to me. What are these numbers? They're for the message service. I use the one from this era. Understood. If we use the Aegis system, all the terminals will be sealed. Then the city will be cut off from universal control. There won't be any hope of restoring order at that point. That's why everyone disappears. 
We need to keep at least some of the terminals open. We can't. The enemy will target any open terminals. And then what? We give up on this world and try again next time? I'm afraid that isn't an option either. There won't be a next time. I had a look at the logs from 2188. I've discovered a way to link to the satellite. A satellite? It's not from this world. There's a satellite orbiting the real world. From it, I learned more about the mechanics of this world. And it turns out we don't get as many tries as we want. The stability of this area is at its breaking point. We can't fail again. If we do, the entire facility will be reset. And Sector Zero will be lost. What's Sector Zero? I know I've heard of it before. Seems like your symptoms are becoming more severe. All right, listen well. As you know, there are five different sectors. However, there exists one more unique sector. It doesn't take up any space, and there's no interior to see. That's Sector Zero. It's an evacuation site that's unaffected by loops. Normally, you can send your data there using the shifter. That's what allows you to continue if the world resets. That's right. Ida did say that was the way to escape to the next world. Yes, but this time, Sector Zero will cease to exist as well. We won't be able to loop again. This is our last chance. So without Sector Zero, the world won't be recreated? If the Aegis system is activated, yes. We'll still be here. Though we'll be left behind in a world of chaos. <sighs> if what you're saying is true, why keep it all a secret? Because... Gahara kun Tell me, why did you erase the logs? Because I had to. I couldn't let anyone find out about them. There's quite a lot that transpires in 2188. The Earth is a very different place. Do you want to know what happens? Just hang tight. 
Humanity was wiped out by the nanomachine infection. And... It was all my fault. <sighs> Sekigahara-kun! You're in bad shape. At this rate, you'll... Huh? Are you lost, little girl? What are you doing alone in a place like this? I guess it makes sense that you don't remember me. I was just a baby when we last saw each other, after all. There's only need for one Chihiro Morimura. Y you're... And that's me. Morimura said quite a bit before she died. If you're going to lie, at least put some effort into it. No matter. I'll simply ask Miss Fuyusaka here what she knows. After I finished you off, of course. Sector Zero. <laughs> That's where you backed up your data, right? A good precaution, but that isn't gonna save you. Morimura gained access to the satellite of the real world. That's where she learned about the next reset. And that it's going to be different from any other. Satellite... of the real world? It's not just this world at stake anymore. If we fail to defeat the Kaiju again, the real world will be impacted as well. That includes the facility that sends us back there. When the facility itself is recreated, there won't be a Sector Zero anymore. Whether we go with Operation Aegis or not, there won't be a next time. And no one will be able to loop again. Satellite? Tony, is this what you meant? It can't be.
Shuro. He really is gone forever. Are you all right? You by yourself? I am. Are you by yourself too? There's someone coming. Can you stay and talk till then? Making a child wait all by herself. Of course. I'll stay here until they come get you. Where's your friends? Well, I have some at school. No, silly. I'm not talking about them. I mean your friend that told you to update the decode. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? You look like a scared kitten. Hold it right there. Who are you? Who ordered you to update the decode? Decode? Do you mean the Dymos code? Yep. I know it wasn't you. Tell me who it was. It was a cat. Huh? A fluffy black cat with a white-tipped tail. So you caught her? Renya Goto. You're late, Goto-kun. Did you know? Do you understand what you did to me? I sealed your powers as a witch. To fight the kaiju. That's what I was told. Witches and cats. Interesting story. I thought you'd be able to see through the ruse a bit more. Wanna know what you shot him with? It was nanomachines. They added code to the ones already in their bodies. The code expands the kaiju's capabilities. How strong it will allow them to become. We have no way of knowing. I can't be. The one behind all this. The one who manipulated you. It seems they are trying to take control of the decode. If they succeed, they will also have control of the Sentinel dock in the factory. In other words, we lose all our means of defense. Are you aware of who that cat is? No. That seems bad. He must have known this would happen. He had a plan. That's why he used the girl, so we couldn't trace it back to him. But that very cleverness is what proves it was him. So, who is he? No one you'd have heard of. He's a criminal from the future. A criminal? From the very beginning, it was all lies. I won't forgive him. Not ever. There you are. About time you got back. You lied to me. About everything. You seem mad. But I haven't lied to you. You're a criminal from the future. I know you are. All that about ancient civilizations and curses. You've been playing me for a fool the whole time! I haven't been lying. There is an ancient civilization. This may look like the 20th century, but it's not. Humanity actually died out in the 22nd century. It's been millions of years since then. So, in reality, the 22nd century is an ancient civilization. So you're saying... This isn't the real world? No! More lies! You convinced me to shoot my friends with this thing! And now you're in control of the Kaiju and the Sentinels! Was that your goal all along? To end humanity? I've already told you. This is a game. I'm only making preparations. 
a game where our lives are on the line? Not if things go the way I want them to. I can get you all out of here alive. <sighs> Whose memories are in Juro? Ah, right. That. Those are my memories, actually. <sighs> it's not my fault, though. You really think I'd believe your lies again? No, I don't imagine you would. You were using Juro too, weren't you? It was not my intention. But in the end, that is what happened. You need to give up on trying to bring him back. By the way, I forgot to mention. You're the final witch. But you don't have to meet the same fate as the rest of them. Wait... what? Where is he? To actually shoot yourself like that, it must have really been driving you mad. But don't worry. If you don't fight, there's no way you'll survive. You did what had to be done. I want to apologize about his memories. There were things that happened I didn't expect. But none of that matters to you. There's no excuse. I boasted about how I could bring him back. It may seem like I tricked you, but I really did all that I could. I had no ill intent. Well, maybe a little. I just wanted him to become the Juro of my world. I wanted to control his feelings of love. Almost like a parent to their child. I wanted my desires to become his own. I guess I hesitated once I saw the depth of your feelings. There was still some human left in me, after all. You might not believe me, but I really have become fond of you. Megumi Yakushiji. The days we spent together were surprisingly fun. It gave me an odd feeling. As if I were on holiday with a cheeky daughter. You left me some nice memories. And now it's up to all of you. I've made all the preparations I could. Since I was unable to hold up my end of our contract, this is goodbye. If our plan succeeds, I want you to live out the rest of your life with Juro. Take care, and good luck. Yakushiji. Juro. What happened? Uh. Did you shoot yourself in the stomach with that gun? 
Please, wait. Just hear me out. Ever since I last saw you, I've been thinking about the dreams I had. None of that matters now. I dream of myself inside the Sentinel. I've seen it over and over. I fight in the Sentinel. Taking down kaiju after kaiju. Struggling in pain. Fighting like some kind of possessed demon. Right arm destroyed. Damage immense. Pilot must cease control. I still have my left arm. Abnormality detected in life support. Emergency release of Sentinel pilot. Initiating. No! Cancel release! I'll continue to pilot. Override command. I won't let them destroy Megumi City. This place is home to all our memories. Life support limit reached. Emergency release procedure. Initiating. No! Cancel the release! I'm not done yet. The more I thought about it, the clearer it became. The only one who has experience piloting Sentinels is the Juro Izumi you know. These are his memories. <sighs> In battle, he was always calling out someone's name. I didn't realize it at first, but... I know it now. It was your name. He was fighting for you. Juro... I'm not... I'm not Juro Izumi anymore. But my feelings are the same. <sighs> Maybe it's because of his memories. But even so, none of that matters to me now. Because I... well... I love you. <sighs> my feelings for you are just as strong and true as Izumi's. <sighs> Do you not feel the same way? Thank you, but... Fluffy really was trying. Just like he said. He was trying to get his memories back. What do I... It's true that uh, I'm not... I may not be as strong as him. But I don't care. I will protect you. With everything that I have. No. <laughs> I'll never let you fight on your own again. I'll fight to protect you too, Juro. I wouldn't have it any other way. Does that mean... Yakushiji?
Yes. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. Surveillance footage? That's right. I saw something important. I can't remember. Maybe I should go look again. It was in Shikishima's underground facility in 2105. I just need to get to the gate. This should make me feel a little better. Mr. Ida, he didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I forget something that important? They said the gate's been sealed, but what if it's a lie? A way to try and keep me here. coordinates for shifting through time. They're set in 40-year intervals. Please, yeah, I'll... Surveillance footage? I saw something important. I knew it wouldn't work. What are you doing? Morimura. I locked the gate. You won't be able to use it. I knew it. It was you. You disabled the gates, not 426. Stop being ridiculous. You need to take your pills. I won't let those damn mind-controlling pills screw with my head anymore! Who told you that? I saw it for myself. You're trying to mess with both me and Iori Fuyusaka's heads. She's getting worse. The code that infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Your memories will keep disappearing. Those pills you've been taking, they inhibit that separation. They try to preserve the link. But its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. No, I won't believe anything you say! Where's Renya Goto? Are you screwing him up too? It was you, you know. <gasps> you were the cause of the infection. You inserted the code that 426 created. No. Just more lies. It's true. Goto. You were conspiring with Morimura this whole time? I've told you the truth a number of times. But you weren't able to accept it. You couldn't hold on to the memory. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me confused. It's all there. 
You just have to remember the code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying. Mr. Ida. For you to ask for me personally? I can't tell you how happy it made me. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. An interlocitor update? Code DD-426. The nanomachines within you. There is a flaw in the program. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power. But there exists a code to fix it. A flaw? If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. Mori Morrison, however, does not agree. Why? She believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Ugh. Why is she like that? She's always going against you, Mr. Ida. If only everyone was as understanding as you. I want us to give this code a try. It'll be our little secret, of course. And then, Morimura-san will see who was right. All you have to do is put this code into the Sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. An improvement to the Sentinel, huh? Ryoko-san. What was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Akon. A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. I'll put DD-426 into number 14. Or... I'll put it into number 15. Akun Sentinel. Mr. Ida's right. And now... Akun will know it too. Do you remember? After you shifted, you went missing. It took a long time to get you back. When we finally did, your condition was already terminal. We've been able to keep it at bay with the medication, but the destruction of your memories has already begun. For you, we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines, but it hasn't gone well. We thought if we let you roam free, that your memories would stabilize. However, your memories kept failing. It only made you become further detached from reality. Even still, it is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels. Because only you know the password. We don't have much time. Please, you must remember. Stop! It's all my fault. It can't be. It's just... lies. You're awake. Who are you? Try and remember. Aikun? That's right. I... I can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, oh right. I need to find... What was I looking for again? 
I can't remember. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. More importantly, how are you feeling? I feel... good. Refreshed. Peaceful, even. <sighs> Maybe it's just not possible. The nanomachines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. <sighs> the memories you implanted in her... What are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the Sentinels and the Gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident? No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. So all she knows is how to control the Sentinel. Ryoko-san. The password to remove the infection. Gone, along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. So that's it? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. A further exposure to the infection. And there's no guarantee you'll survive. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. No. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me, by Mr. Ida. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. I won't let anyone else fight for me. somewhere to be. Mm, okay. Do you need something? Uh, not really. Sorry. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Iyori-chan! Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. Well, it's about that time. Yeah. I should head out too. See you, Miwa-chan. Miwako doesn't remember a thing. But 
Maybe that's for the Something best. Up. You're staring. <clears throat> it's nothing. Miwako! I'm heading out. <laughs> See you! I'm late. There you are. Back at it again with the skirt and wig, huh? What a weirdo. I just didn't get a chance to change. As I said, this is a necessary disguise. Bold words for someone who can't be bothered to make it here on time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Anyway. You're going to do this for me, right? <sighs> Let's go. Get in position. That's what I should be asking you. Well, whatever. Who's that little cutie? <laughs> Hear that? You're a cutie, apparently. I'm not complaining. Hey, what are you doing? Stay back! They might be with the black suit guys. BJ says he knows them. Natsuno? Usami! You're here too? Why? This little guy led me here. Sekigahara's robot? I see. The two of them will speed up the process. Hello, Okino. I am like this now, but... You're Miura. Sekigahara told me. What is your goal? Save the girl trapped in orbit. Then we are on the same path. I mean, Gucci couldn't surprise me enough as it is. But seriously, you too, Usami? I can't believe you're all time traveling. This is actually where I'm from. Whoa, you came from the future? Does anyone else know about this stuff? Let's see. Yuki chan from Class 1A? Miyura-kun, too. What? That guy? So you're here to help number 16, too? My own sentinel is there. Sentinel number 17. So that's how it is. Both 16 and 17 were put into orbit. They went to an unknown man-made artifact in space. We've briefly gotten a hold of it from here. But we don't quite understand what it is. Number 16 would know the answer. Last time we got through to her when I touched something over there. But now... It won't respond. Not even with Kisaragi's biometric ID. She's completely inaccessible now. You, Amiguchi, may know the reason. You want to know why? Ida did it himself. He shut down her sentinel. Ida, huh? Yeah. Something about authorization? He must have used his security authorization to issue the command. So that's what happened. You created these sentinels. Perhaps you can clear the authorization. Worth a try. Help me out. So, why are you here? I can't turn down a cry for help. Especially not from the one and only Miyuki Inaba. 
Miyuki Inaba? You mean that idol? Well, yeah. She talked to me through a TV program. You guys call her number 16, but... She's actually another you. I knew it. That song... It sounded a little different in the style of the 80s. But it's just like when I sang back in middle school. And... Inaba... That's my username. I became an idol? Uh, seriously? The preparations are complete. Kisaragi, as you scan your ID to grant access, the authorization will be reset and the Sentinel will reboot. Go ahead and unlock it. Here it goes. No good? The Sentinel started up normally. I... I see. Ida couldn't shut me off. We all came to save you. Sorry it's a little late. information as well. Do you trust me? Well, you're me, right? I won't get anywhere if I can't even trust myself. I was shifted to the orbiting command ship. Command ship? For the second phase of the Interstellar Development Project. It's an artificial satellite that presides over terraforming. Terraforming? The very ground you stand on is proof. The second phase was a resounding success. No way! So the D-forces were used to develop land? Originally, yes. They were designed as heavy machinery for that purpose. You mean, it's really true? We're not on planet Earth. Huh? I've seen it with my own eyes. The whole city is less than 30 kilometers long. I thought it was on a spaceship, though. Unbelievable. What about the other countries I've been investigating? Universal control alters the information you receive. It does whatever's necessary to make things appear consistent. Shukun is telling the truth. From here? I can see the entirety of the residential ward system. All of the terminal controls, too. You're able to control the satellite from your Sentinel? It does have some limitations, of course. But it is possible. Because... I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Huh? She's the one who designed the second phase of interstellar development. She was a terraforming researcher. Watch this log of hers. February 8th, 2188. Continuing my report from yesterday. I ran the simulation. This was our 25th terraforming attempt. We believe the planet is a Type 57B. In order to reach a habitable state for humanity, the process took 1,800 years. A bit longer than hoped. No further issues up to this point. Oh, and I almost forgot. At Professor Morimura's suggestion, I updated the system on the command ship. It's set to monitor the final phase. Surface facilities. Before any harm may come to these facilities, 
it will determine whether the final phase needs to be redone. As the professor always says, it can't hurt to be safe. Work has been coming along well, but I honestly can't wait to return to the surface. Uh, what was that? A log from Tony Kisaragi in the year 2188. She said some curious things. Like redoing the final phase. You heard correctly. There's no turning back. Well, what now? The command ship will fall below the horizon soon. We'll be disconnected for quite a while. Are there any measures we can take? Yes. But I believe there's only one way through this. And what's that? Universal control. It needs to be altered. And the only ones who can do that... ...are all of you. Trust in me. And get into the Sentinels. truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this, but that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. And why's that? 
It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. <sighs> From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. You think I'm trying to destroy the world? I do. So you think I'm enabling the kaiju now? Even though I've got more reason to hate them than any of you? That is true, at least. You're clearly not on the Kaiju's side. After all, they are a threat to your primary objective. Which would be to carry out the plan you formed in 2188. However, that plan may now be untenable. The situation has deviated too drastically. <sighs> Recall when I brought you to the underground UFO. I believe you said something like... It was out of your hands. of the UFO? Yes. Honestly, Okino-kun, you can't take anything else in life seriously. So why do you put so much time into all this? <sighs> Okino. Just talking to myself. More importantly, look at this mess. Something unpleasant must have happened here. Most likely. Shikishima android. Probably left here by Ida-san. They've all been shot. External damage suggests the weapon was a phaser. They're all out of commission. Too damaged to function. I see. Let's get started, then. Is it really possible? I have a fairly comprehensive grasp of this system. This abnormality all comes down to the decode, right? I should be able to get rid of it. Why would Miss Morimura push for Operation Aegis if this was an option all along? Well, you said it yourself. She's either being controlled by someone, or she could be trying to save herself. That's not right. Hold on. That file system hadn't even been analyzed yet. How did you gain access? I have a senior admin ID. Access privileges for the entire system. You somehow got access to an account that high level? Yes. I have my ways. This is no good. Sector 3's mainframe has been damaged in an attack. It's barely operational. I won't be able to process much here. Well, not much choice. I'll have to send direct instructions to the command ship. Command ship? The mothership in orbit. It can send commands directly to the UFO. Is it? An arc? Some grand design from the people of the future? Either that or a base of operations for an alien invasion. The comms channel to the command ship is cut off. Must be hiding somewhere beyond the horizon. Looks like about 35 minutes until the comms reconnect. But we don't have that long. Time to find another link. Will this fix cut off the Kaiju's attacks? It should be able to solve the problem at its core. However, we can't stop any commands that were already processed. That's out of my hands. Which means... We'll still have to deal with the kaiju already generated. We don't know how many the factories have produced. If we could just verify their numbers... Hmm... We're going to need the Sentinels after all. That may be best. 
Operation Aegis is too much of a risk. In other words, the decode's activation is a blow you cannot recover from. No matter how you try to fix it, your plan is irreversibly impacted. The most direct fix would be eliminating the decode. Then, you would just restart the loop anew. If Operation Aegis succeeds, a world reset will no longer be possible. This operation goes against Professor Morimura's agenda. She will stop at nothing to prevent it. In order to trigger a loop, you need them to destroy all the Sector's mainframes. And therein lies your goal. You want this world destroyed so the timeline can be reset. But you have one major obstacle, and that's Operation Aegis. Aegis isn't just an ordinary defense system. It causes a terminal to seal itself off in self-defense, preventing anyone from using it to control the world. Once all the terminals are sealed off, we'll be severed from the mainframe effectively preventing any further loop or extinction. <sighs> but if that happens, your plan is null and void. We'd be stuck in a loop where your goal was impossible. Fine then. Let's say all your wild speculation is correct. What do you plan to do about it? Let's backtrack a little bit. We discussed the suspect of Miss Morimura's murder, and you asked me who I think did it. If you actually are Professor Chihiro Morimura, then I believe you personally murdered Miss Morimura. Did I now? She was a staunch advocate of Operation Aegis. A thorn in your side, someone in the way of your reset. An interesting theory, if also an incorrect one. Believe me, I understand why you'd view me with hostility. Certainly Renya Goto was responsible for chasing you out of Newman. Even if it was on Shikishima's behalf, a buyer simply eliminating liabilities. After that, you took the lead on Project Ark. Under Kengo Ogata's oversight, Kengo Ogata, of course, being Nenji Ogata's father. And Shikishima's chairman, who recognized your talent. He passed away in 2187. His age caught up with him. But the other Kengo Ogata is perhaps more relevant. The one you created after his death using his memories. An AI construct. You were letting it control you. I was just getting advice. Dug that out of a log, too? Yes. Renya Goto found that AI. The log was recorded in the colony after your death. Once your clone reaches 18 years of age, you set it so that she'd download your memories. <sighs> it's clear this project was not a selfish endeavor. I'm sure you felt a sense of duty to save humanity. But you were also trying to bring Kengo Ogata back to life. So Professor Morimura takes over Chihiro Morimura's clone. And presumably, Kengo Ogata would take over Nenji Ogata's clone. That's why you're so intent on sticking to the plan. Certainly, from your perspective, Miss Murimura was expendable. She had to die. Her very survival endangered your ultimate goal. Well, that is a shame. This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Goodbye.
All right. I think I finally found what we needed. The answer to our problem. What is it? I'd prefer to handle the introductions first, but... Well, I guess we're a bit early. The command ship's still behind the horizon. That means still about half an hour until they're in comms range. Now it's a waiting game. What can I do right now? I have to save everyone. That means I need to stay at Okino's side. What can I do? I have that. Go ahead and explain. Guess I owe you that much. You remember our talk about the decode? Something inside that inner Lossiter? It's the thing calling the Dimos, right? You got it. More specifically, the important part is its connections to three discrete points. One of those points is the command ship in orbit, which I'll show you here. From that ship, it extracts the data of the Dimos themselves. That data is used to manufacture them in the automated factories in Sector 1. Then the factory-fresh Dimos are deployed to attack Universal Control. And that's how the decode works. So why do the attacks make people disappear? I might actually have the answer to that one. But, well, it'd be better if you heard it from her, the command ship. Huh? Hey, the stall is moving. Stop! Is this doll some kind of enemy? Must have come from above ground. I'm definitely triggering the voice recognition, but... Looks like my operation authority has been revoked. My commands aren't enough to shut them down. They'll be back in action soon. My commands aren't enough, they'll... Over here, too! Stop! Telling me. We need to go. Something's off. What's wrong? That console. Looks like I can only use the controls from there. You stay here. I'll go set the timer. Hey!
Damn it. Why me? Why only me? I have to get back now, or Okino might not. Someone. Anyone. I need to find someone who knows how to time travel. Sekigahara would know. Keitaro's Sentinel could also travel in time. Wait. That nurse would know as well. This is hardly the time for a snack. I can't seem to find that teacher. Excuse me, miss. There's something I need to ask you. Uh... Sure. What's up? I'm looking for a teacher named Morimura. Do you have any idea where she might be? Uh... You need to find Miss Morimura? I think she already went home for the day. Really? Of all times, she had to be gone during an emergency. I'll have to look somewhere else. If what Keitaro said is true, the Sentinel's capable of time travel. So if I can take it back from the government and Shikishima, maybe I can use it to save Okino. I'm looking for a boy named Miura. He'd be wearing a school hat. Has he been around here? A school hat? Oh, you mean that middle schooler kid? You've seen him? Uh, sorry. I don't really know anything. But you might want to talk to one of our track members. Where would I find them? Around now, she'd probably be at the rest area. Understood. Thank you. Have a moment. Uh, for what? I'm looking for Miura, a boy with an old school hat. Any idea where I might find him? A school hat? You mean Natsuno's boyfriend? Natsuno? One of my friends in track has a boyfriend. And he always wears this super vintage looking school hat. That's him. Do you know where he is? Hmm... He wasn't near the athletics building. I do remember something. Oh! I've seen him around the old school building. The old school building? So, the wooden schoolhouse? Thank you. Much appreciated. What's wrong? Uh, um, this is for you. What's this? I really like you. What are you doing? Don't be crazy. I, I... gotcha. Deja vu, huh? Isn't this where I confessed to Ninji Ogata, too? That seemed like it really got to you. I thought you might be feeling left out, so... You idiot! You thought it'd make me happy for a man to confess to me? Guess not, huh? here. Huh? Huh? 
You? Wait, maybe... This was the correct area to search. It is him. Wait, that's... You're the scout unit that was with Sekigahara. Why do you have this? Who are you? Takadoshi-san. Let me... take you. Let me take you to Okino's location. <sighs> he has been wounded by androids. His condition is critical. What? Who exactly are you? How do you know about Okino? Television broadcasts and command ship transmissions. The Yuki Inaba used them to inform me. Yasuo, he will need it. Oh, sure. Here. What is this? A phaser. You will need a weapon to neutralize the androids. Some kind of future gun? I extracted it from the Shikishima Laboratory. It was designed based on data from the mainframe. Yatsuno, please stay here. What? It will be dangerous. Okay, they have had much time. <sighs> then let's move. I saw Okino. Then the androids were after him. I need to get back and rescue him. Okino! Where are you hurt? Ugh. Don't worry. I'll get you to a hospital. Hijiyama kun. Don't talk. I'm here. The letter. Read my letter. No! Hokino! No! Okino's... He's... gone. Universal Control... has isolated him. is approaching Sector 4. So I'd like to share the Sentinel with you. I hid it in the ocean in Sector 5. It's the one I piloted. Sentinel number 12. If anything happens to me, you'll need access to it. So I made one last adjustment to your body on my own. The Sentinel activation switch is on your left forearm. said you were isolated. If you really are alive, if you're out there somewhere, then you're going to need a home to return to. It'd be a shame if it was gone. So, I'll fight to my last breath to save it. That's all the reason I need. Now, let's go. 
Sentinel number 12! Finally. I was wondering when you'd show up. What was that? I thought I heard Okino's voice. You did. It's me. Oh, you know. You can't see them, but I do still have legs. No ghosts here. So the scout was right. I'm still alive. Because we shared the Sentinel. You're the only one who I can communicate with. What can I do? How do I save you? I can't go back to that world anymore. I was cut off from it. To keep me alive. This was the answer, Ichiyama-kun. Remember what we talked about? The mystery process eating up 80% of the inner Lossiter's memory? Our hearing, vision, scent, touch, and taste. It was supplying sensory data, everything we ever perceived. It made everything in that world seem real. That was practically its highest priority function. You don't mean it was all fake? My home? The factory? The five sectors are not reality. Besides the 15 of us, every human we've ever known, they were created by universal control. That world is a simulated space, a massive, perfect illusion for us. None of it was real. These cockpits we're in right now? That is reality. My designs for the Sentinels never had cockpits at all. What kind of suicidal moron would get in a 35-meter weaponized metal suit? A single punch's recoil impact would hit the pilot like a train crash. But then the finished Sentinels had ways to get inside. I wasn't too familiar with the systems we'd pulled from the mainframe data. I figured it was just a spec I hadn't noticed at the time. But it wasn't even a cockpit at all. They're growth pods, meant to keep our bodies healthy. We were born inside these pods. We have never known life outside of them. Uh, if all that's true, how do we get out? I don't know if we can get out. But at least one thing's clear. If the Deimos invasion destroys the world we knew, then we will all die inside these pods. <laughs> Fat chance of that. You're shameless, shrewd, and infuriating. People like you don't die so easily. No matter what else may change, my duty is the same. I live in service of my country. And the people I love. Hijiyama-kun. I will not let you die. Hijiyama-kun. No matter how this ends, I will always be with you. Let's go. Initiating meta skill analysis. This shouldn't take too long. Wow. I'll send you the data once it's ready. Uh, that would be great. But I must say, this is a surprise. Okino kun really managed to push this through? Integrating this half coded thing into the control system? Thank you. <gasps> no, well. Okino wanted to tell you that. Thank you. Okino-kun said that? He said the analysis wasn't complete yet. So he appreciates your help with all this. I see. 
To look at you, anyone might think you are just a child. But you must be a truly exceptional individual. The message was Okinos, and I'd like you to know I'm grateful as well. Now if you'll excuse me, I must return to the battle. <laughs> that boy. So he appreciates me, does he? This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Goodbye. <laughs> you cannot shoot me with that gun. So anyone who knows the truth of Aegis is a liability to you. And liabilities must be dealt with. Does that sum it up? If you recall, I specifically acquired this gun for your purposes. You had concerns about self-defense. I can guess what happens next. Now you're going to use it to shoot me. Perhaps I wasn't clear. For safety reasons, neither one of us can be shot with this gun. I configured it very specifically. As I suspected, this gun records the time of its last discharge. And that time looks to be a near match for Miss Morimura's estimated time of death. Which suggests... You use this gun to murder her. Now, on the day of the crime, you yourself were using the drone to keep tabs on Miss Morimura, weren't you? Based off of your expenses for that day, I presume you took a taxi to the crime scene. How much do you have in that pocketbook? Were you just playing dumb this whole time? When did you realize? What gave away that I was the professor and not her? There was a specific moment. It was back when Miura found you here. You described Miura as an excellent design engineer. But the Miura of 2188 was the design engineer, not him. Did you dig that out of Renya Goto's log too? No. That I learned through Miura, the AI of Sentinel number 17. He also told me about the existence of the logs. So, what happens to me now? If you're not killing me, I assume you're at least locking me up? Considering what you did to Miss Morimura, I'm admittedly conflicted. But giving into my emotional reaction wouldn't solve anything. Vengeance isn't going to bring her back. So, with that in mind, I would rather choose the path that gets me closer to the truth. That is what I want now. To see what lies at the end of all this. To see what she never could. You told an obvious lie. You made it clear Juro Izumi was not your... cup of tea. Yet you and Izumi shared an intimate relationship in the year 2188. That was clear enough from all the evidence I found. Even the placement seemed intentional. You and Izumi together in Sector 1. You died before you could set up the memory transplant. At that point, I can only assume, Izumi sympathized with you and helped carry out your vision. I can certainly understand Kengo Ogata's motive. He just wants to live again. But you, why are you so intent on transplanting your memory? Because... There has to be a leader. Without someone to guide them, teams dissolve into fear, spite, resentment. It'd be the colony all over again. Hmm. I see. As I suspected. Your devotion to this goal is inspiring, in some ways. <sighs> Are you a gambling woman? 
I'd like to propose a bet. We'll leave the terminals alone for you. We won't let Aegis seal everything off. Your loop would still be viable. And in exchange? As it currently stands, it'd be impossible to revert to your original plan without some compromise. But consider this. Even this final phase won't truly be the end. We'll have plenty of struggles beyond it. Plenty more pain ahead of us. If we can prove to you that we will overcome that, if we prove to you that we can face the unknown, then are we not worthy to take up your cause, inheriting your goal, and seeing it through? You make an interesting point. We can solve this problem ourselves. So my proposal is this. Let us fight our war. No sabotage. If we fail, then I could hardly object to a reset anyway. That's your bet? You don't stand a chance. Well, I suppose we'll see about that. Activated. Is anyone too compromised to keep fighting? Well, we've barely had a moment to breathe. The girls may be pushing their limits. I'm still okay. I can keep fighting. There are three terminals remaining. We can protect two of them with Aegis. But we're on our own with the last terminal. How much longer do we need to hold out? Establish a connection with Miyuki Inaba. That's still ten hours off. Ten hours we don't have. But her plan is our last hope. Then we fight to the last. Until we have nothing left. The Kaiju are heading for the next terminal. Brace yourself, Keitaro. We are soldiers. And this is the moment we train for. Hours. Days. It doesn't matter. We'll hold the line. Let's go. Shihiro-san. <laughs> you're listening, aren't you? If you're out there, please respond. Shihiro-san. What is it now? up with the command ship. One that doesn't rely on its position, don't you? You're thinking of when I revise the decode. Right now, we need that shortcut. And this is where you reveal some new leverage over me. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what log you found this time. No. This time, I'm asking a favor. <laughs> you have to be joking. You do realize the position I'm already in? I do. Even still, all I can do is beg. I just want us to have a chance. <sighs> this is the most idiotic... I lied to you, you know. Do you know which lie I'm talking about? Not this time. When I said I wasn't going to like you... <sighs> You're an infuriating man, Renya Goto. Chihiro-san. Ready? Everyone, listen to me. We can communicate with the command ship out of range. I'm realigning the three surveillance satellites to their relay positions. We should be connected soon. However... The satellites have to move outside their preset tracks. You'll enter the gravity well and plummet to Earth. Your connection will only last until they hit the surface. You'll barely have any time to do this. Am I clear? Thank you. Honestly, humans can be so irrational. Though, I guess... I might be the most irrational one here. If you actually manage to pull this off... Then I expect you all to take responsibility. Shihiro. Good luck. Big bro.
brother. Almost connected. This is your only chance. Initiating communication. Please fall back if you need to. Natsuno-san? <sighs> 